Hi everyone, I'm Alain Provo, welcoming you to the tips and tricks of Solid Experts. So today, it's going to be a little hint on how to start structures system inside SolidWorks. So let's dig in, because it's only a minute and a half to see this trick. All right, so I'll open up a project inside SolidWorks. Maybe some of you guys have seen it. It's from the launch of SolidWorks years back. Uh, at the beginning of structures, but at least it's a nice model to start off. Uh, you'll see that I don't have many sketches. I don't have a 3D sketch, only some surface and one 2D sketch reference plane to be able to uh, create more stuff. So quickly to start, I'll just hide my 2D sketch because I don't need it. In my toolbar, if you don't find it, simply do a right click, go in tabs and you'll find structure system. Oh, really simple to activate. It uses the profiles inside your SOLIDWORKS that are configured. So AI, ASI or CISC uh, models are available, no problem. You'll find what you need. So quickly, I just start structure system and I only have one option that is not grayed out because it tells me how to start my structure system. As simple as that. I start and then I can pre-select how I want to work, maybe with uh, 2D sketches, with reference plane and stuff like this. Me, I'm going to start with um, edges, this, from my uh, surface because we see that I have many edges available from my uh, surface. And it's going to be so fast, so quick to select. I simply drag a window. You see all the members are created automatically and then I can select the profile which I need to uh, work with. I'll, I'll use square tubes here. I'll use a 10 like this. So right now I created all my members very quickly, efficiently and so fast. I can also make modifications. Another window to pre-select what I need to do. They're in there. And then I can change the profile I had. And this time I'm going to use the round one. Like this. And accept. So you see quickly two kinds of profile. They have not been trimmed yet. That's for later on when I'm ready for that. Now maybe I can bring in back my sketch. And then got to start primary members. And then I can go like this and simply undo these ones. Great, select the profile I need. But you see, even by making some mistakes, it's really fast to do. Uh, I'll keep uh, round pipes, but this time I'll shrink them a little bit, except, and you see now, three kinds of profiles, simple steps to do. And when I exit, I'm now working in the trim section of SOLIDWORKS. So oh, I choose the corner which I want to uh, trim, select, and you see it's been done. If I have more than two members, it's going to be a complex trim. So this area is going to be a complex trim. Select it. Once it's selected, the points, the dots will open to select and see what I want to adjust. So now I know which member has to go down to be trimmed. It will go down there. I want it to go even lower to be cut. And then I accept. I won't do the other trims because I need it. <laughs> I need it to be to be quick for you guys. It's just a tip and trick. So you see, they've been cut well. The trim is perfect right there. Oh, I can I raised this uh, uh, around uh, my model to uh, uh, go uh, quickly. You see my cut list is ready. All my members are in there. So this structure system is really great. I hope you guys try it and, and learn to use it, adopt it, because it's going to save you a lot of time. So I thank you guys for listening to me and wish you Good modeling and see you next time. Bye-bye.